in some of my previous videos i showed you guys how to create domiciliary accounts without visiting the bank those videos were actually targeted at those that were already earning in dollars but lately i've been getting a lot of questions like how to fund your domiciliary account so in this video i'll be showing you different ways to fund your domiciliary account and also let you know if you actually need a dumb account so you won't be creating an account for the wrong reasons without further ado let's get into the video now before we go into the video why do you even need a domiciliary account number one reason is dollar rates you see the cbn there's the cbn rate we also have bank rates and we also have the black market rate and all of these amount rates are different for example when you go to google website right now and search for cbn dollar rate it will take you to the cbn website and when you get to this website you see that the official dollar rate right now is 430 us dollar to one naira and also we have the bank rate which is different depending on the bank for example Wema bank right now their rate is 488 naira to one dollar and we also have access rate which is 505 naira to one dollar these are the two banks i currently use right now i don't know about any other banks their rate might be higher than this or lower than this also we have the black market rate which is sitting at 698 naira per dollars and in some areas you could get so up to 705 naira per dollar now looking at these different rates if you receive 100 us dollar from god knows where and the 100 us dollar is sent to your naira account let's assume you are using assets right now what you, what you get is 50,500 naira that will enter into your bank account but if you have a domiciliary account and you send this 100 us dollar to your dump account you can easily go to the bank then withdraw this 100 us dollar from the bank and then take it to the black market where you can exchange this money for with your with the with the brewery change and you get 69,800 naira that is about almost 20,000 naira difference with just 100 us dollar so this is number one reason you need a domiciliary account now the second reason you need a domiciliary account is dollar card you see, most banks in Nigeria has already limits their spending limit to 20 US dollars. So with your debit card, your Naira debit card, you cannot spend more than 20 US dollar a month. So and there are also different platforms that have provided solutions to this, like Flutterwave. You can create a virtual US dollar card from Flutterwave and other platforms like that that gives dollar card, virtual dollar card to solve this problem. But recently, all of these plans platforms no longer gives the virtual dollar card because of the banking issues here in nigeria so they are not but the best way to just get a dollar card is to create a domiciliary account and when you have your domiciliary account you can request for a dollar card and that dollar card can be used to buy anything online with no limits now thirdly if you are earning high amount maybe you are working online and you are earning very high amount close to ten thousand us dollar and you are taking this money straight to your savings account here in nigeria you'll be having so many issues because the, the bank will have to block your account when they actually start when you start receiving a lot of money so if you are receiving a lot of money and working online then you will need to create a domiciliary account so that you won't have any issues with the bank so these are the three reasons i can think of right now that you need a domiciliary account for now let's get into the actual video how to fund your domiciliary account Number one, transferring funds from one domiciliary account to the other domiciliary account. So you can actually transfer funds from your domiciliary account to another person's domiciliary account and someone else can transfer funds from their domiciliary account to your own domiciliary account. But if you created your domiciliary account online, like right here in this video where I showed you how to create Wema US or Wema domiciliary account, if you are using that kind of account, you will have to upgrade the account before you can get this feature. So before you can get the feature of transferring from one fund, one account to another, you have to upgrade your account. You have to take, go to the bank with two guarantors and then all your necessary documents as well before you can get those features. So you can actually transfer funds from one domiciliary account to your own domiciliary account. Now, I know some many, majority of you came to this video just to see if you can actually fund your domiciliary account from your Naira bank account. I'm sorry, domiciliary account cannot accept Naira, but it can actually ever it can accept other currencies like USD, Euro, and GPP. And some that is, if you have friends and family abroad, 
in another country they can actually send you funds from their country to your own country to your domiciliary account through wire transfer so if anybody wants to send you funds from abroad they can send you funds from abroad to your domiciliary account through wire transfer because there are different ways you can accept money from someone living abroad and one of the ways you can set payments is wire transfer so someone living abroad can send you money maybe your client or anybody can send you money from abroad to your domiciliary account through wire transfer so that is the second way to fund your domiciliary account you can't however link send, send money from your naira account to your domiciliary account because domiciliary account does not accept naira now thirdly is google adsense you can if you are working online already maybe you have a website and a youtube channel one way to monetize your website and your youtube channel is through google adsense what happens is that when you apply to google adsense you are you'll be able to start displaying google ads on your website and also google ads on your youtube channel so if you are applying to google adsense and you are applying as in nigeria since you are a nigerian google would not accept any other kind of payment from any other bank they don't accept virtual banks they don't accept payment any the bank you have to use to get your payments in google adsense has to be a bank from your country it has to be a bank from nigeria so if you are if you have google adsense account and you start and you have money there you can link your domiciliary account to your google adsense i actually showed you a video right here I'm sorry, a video right here that will just appear on the card right here. How to link your domiciliary account to your Google AdSense so that way you can get payment from Google AdSense straight to your domiciliary account. That is number three ways to fund your domiciliary account. Now, the fourth way to fund the domiciliary account is if you're a freelancer or an affiliate marketer, you're online, you are working on platforms like Fiverr, Upwork as a freelancer, or you're an affiliate marketer where you have different platforms where you are earning money as an affiliate marketer. You can actually send those money to your domiciliary account. There are actually platforms that accept domiciliary accounts. And there are platforms that does not accept you having a Niger using a Nigeria account but a US account. You can actually use Pioneer. And from Pioneer, you can send your funds from your Pioneer account to your domiciliary account straight to your domiciliary account. Then you can go to the bank to withdraw those money and exchange it in a black market although they are actually virtual dollar accounts with almost the same thing as the um, the domiciliary account the black market rates so they are probably virtual bank account if you're a freelancer or an affiliate marketer and you are using your virtual us dollar like pioneer they're actually better solutions to this like in this video right here i showed you how to open a get pay account where you can actually create a us dollar to start using those platforms instead of using the domiciliary account but anyway if you want to still use a domiciliary account you can actually send money from your pioneer account if you are using pioneer to so receive payments from your affiliate platform and then from that pioneer you can send it to your domiciliary account so you can be withdrawing your money at the black market rate and changing it in the black market as well if you're into cryptocurrency if you have binance wallet or any wallet for crypto that you are using online and you want to start exchanging making doing forex or you're into crypto i don't currently do crypto so i don't know much about that but i've seen a lot of people using their domiciliary account to get payment from cryptocurrency platforms and from their binance wallet to their to their bank of exchanging and especially the dollar card so they can be able to request for dollar card and use those dollar cards to you know buy online buy crypto online and also fund their domiciliary account from their binance wallet and all that now if you are into arbitrage maybe you are into buying and selling of dollars you also need a domiciliary account although you can also create a virtual us virtual account to get or do arbitrage as well but you can also use domiciliary account to do arbitrage so what arbitrage is all about is that you are buying dollars at a lower price let's say you are buying dollar at the cbn rate 430 naira and those amounts is sent to your domiciliary account then you can now withdraw those amounts to your domiciliary account and exchange the black market to get a better rate that's just arbitrage so if you are into arbitrage you can create a domiciliary account and start funding your domiciliary account from different platforms where you are getting your payment your money from into your domiciliary account and then you can take the money in dollars then to the black market and exchange it for naira at a better rate so those are different ways you can actually fund your domiciliary account if you have any other way you think people can actually fund their domiciliary account i like to do those ways in the description in the comment section below and you can also check the description for links to different videos that i've mentioned in this 
video in the description below also comment if you have any other platforms that any other ways you can fund your domiciliary account that i didn't mention in this video and also if you have any other questions relating to funding your domiciliary account let me know in the comment section video below i promise to also uh to reply to all of those comments as well anyway that is all for this video my name is victor smith i hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you in the next one